I wish to propose a number of initiatives as part of a framework for kickstarting the virtuous cycle of domestic and foreign investments. Connectivity is the lifeblood of an economy. The government has given a massive push to all forms of physical connectivity through Proud and Mantri Grant, Sarika Jaina, Industrial Corridors, Dedicated Freight Corridors, Bartamala and Sagarmala, Projects, Jamag Vikas, and Uden Schemes, while the Industrial Corridors would improve infrastructure availability for greater industrial investment in the catchment regions. The dedicated freight corridors would mitigate the congestion of our railway network, benefiting the common man. The ambitious program of the Ratmala would help develop national road corridors and highways, while Sagarmala would enhance port connectivity, modernization, and port linked industrialization. If Sagarmala is aimed at improving the infrastructure for external trade, equally it is the poor man's transport too. Waterways are proven as a cheap mode of transport. The Jamag Vikas project for capacity augmentation of navigation on national waterways is aimed at smoothening internal trade carried through inland water transport. These initiatives will improve logistics tremendously, reducing the cost of transportation and increasing the competitiveness of domestically produced goods. The Uden scheme is providing air connectivity to smaller cities and enabling the common citizens of our country to avail air travel. All these programs are also helping bridge the rural urban divide as the world's third largest domestic aviation market. The time is right for India to enter into aircraft financing and leasing activities from Indian shores. This is critical to the development of a self-reliant aviation industry, creating aspirational jobs in aviation finance. Besides leveraging the business opportunities available in India's financial special economic zones SEZS, namely International Financial Services Center, government will implement the essential elements of the regulatory roadmap for making India a hub for such activities for providing an enabling ecosystem for growth in India of maintenance, repair and overhaul industry. It is proposed to leverage India's engineering advantage and potential to achieve self-reliance in this vital aviation segment. Government will adopt suitable policy interventions to create a congenial atmosphere for the development of Munro in the country. The new metro rail projects for a total route length of 300 kilometers had been approved during 2018 to 19. Also during 2019 about 210 km metro lines 
have been operationalized with this 657 kms of metro rail network has become operational across the country india's first indigenously developed payment ecosystem for transport based on national common mobility card standards was launched by Honbo Prime Minister in March 2019 this will enable people to pay multiple kinds of transport charges including metro services and toll tax across the country this interoperable transport card runs on rupee card and would allow the holders to pay for their bus travel toll taxes parking charges retail shopping and even withdraw money phase 2 of fame scheme following approval of the cabinet with an outlay of 10000 crore for a period of 3 years has commenced from the 1st of april 2019 the main objective of the scheme is to encourage faster adoption of electric vehicles by way of offering up front incentive on purchase of electric vehicles and also by establishing the necessary charging infrastructure for electric vehicles only advanced battery and registered e vehicles will be incentivized under the scheme with greater emphasis on providing affordable and environment friendly public transportation options for the common man the government will carry out a comprehensive restructuring of national highway program to ensure that the national highway grid of desirable length and capacity is created using financeable model after completing the phase 1 of bharat mala in the second phase states will be helped to develop state road networks we need to develop our inland waterways to shift a significant portion of inland cargo movement from road and rail this government envisions using the rivers for cargo transportation which will also help to the congest roads and railways as part of the jamag vikas project for enhancing the navigational capacity of ganga a multimodal terminal at varanasi has become functional in november 2018 and two more such terminals at sahelganya and holda and a navigational lock at faraka would be completed in 2019 to 20 the movement of cargo volume on ganga is estimated to increase by nearly four times in the next four years this will make movement of freight passenger cheaper and reduce our import bill it is estimated that railway infrastructure would need an investment of 50 lakh crores between 2018 to 2030 given that the capital expenditure outlays of railways are around 1.5 to 1.6 lakh crores per annum completing even all sanction projects would take decades it is therefore proposed to use public private partnership to unleash faster development and completion of tracks rolling stock manufacturing and delivery of 
Passenger Freight Services. If you have liked the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing.